becoming younger. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. No, no, no. No. On the contrary. But how are you doing? Fine. Yes. How's everything over there? Uh, we are okay. Yeah. You're all healthy? Uh, not really. Of course, uh, now COVID is uh, disrupting everything. And um, it's quite difficult and tough. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. So we have um, we have two people already. Uh, we are now four. Okay. Uh, we have Andre. We have Edwin. We have Yoke. We and myself. Mm -hmm. So I am not sure whether there is another extra person. Um, Andre, do we have other people joining? Uh, Morris is is supposed to join. Ah, he's already yeah, joining. He's now <laughs> there. He is. So, but we wait uh, a few minutes. No, uh, no, no. I think I think it's a small group. We are basically more of a planning team yeah. to kickstart everything. Yeah. So, I think we shall not wait. Uh, if anybody joins, that will be a bonus because this meeting is more about us to build consensus on how to implement the 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 legacy. Yes. So. So maybe I have to, I want to start already. Yes. Let me um, get some papers. One sec, yeah? No problem. Uh, it is, I, I had just uh, printed this uh, document. Oh, yeah, yeah. Brenda, very good. Yeah. So, we can start when you say yes. It's nice to see you, Max. After uh, one year, I was in Uganda, more or less. Yeah, it's actually yeah. one year. Yeah. yeah. And you may yeah. have not seen you may have not seen Andre. The man is now very fat and big. He's almost a prime minister of Madagascar. <laughs> what you are saying, Max? Good morning, everybody. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I... ladies and gentlemen, welcome, and uh, we have Brendan Board and Morris now. Mm -hmm. And uh, the team, uh, just to mention that the team from Afa side is uh, composed especially from the knowledge management angle. We have a team uh, also from the East Africa Field School, which is part of AFAS. Mm -hmm. So because we all deal with the issues of knowledge management, but most, more specifically for this uh, discussion on experience capitalization, which is a critical thing for both AFAS and the East Africa Field School Hub. Now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, just to bring us to a quick uh, 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 overview, um, AFAS and CTA have been having a long uh, partnership. We've uh, participated in each other's uh, events. We've supported each other. CTA actually has supported AFAS both financially but also technically and um, when the issues of winding up CTA came on board AFAS was having very good um, record in the books of CTA mm -hmm. therefore I was approached to see by Ben and others and to see how we could take the, 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 the elements that they call the legacy of CTA legacy means what CTA has left who then takes. But of course, CTA has had very, very many partners. So we started engaging with Ben, myself, Andre, then uh, there were, there were issues, long-term prospects, but also short-term. And I want to report that uh, in, in terms of the short-term, uh, we put together a list of publications we needed which uh, were delivered to different countries and re refused, uh, received some. Myself, I was sent a package which was addressed to Max Solupon. So I had to start giving out to the Ugandan teams. I have still some few books that I feel we can keep when we have the meetings, we can also distribute them. So going forward also, CTA thought we would be the ones to carry on what they call experience capitalization, which some of us have been engaged in, mm -hmm. uh, not so much deeply, but uh, 
for my case i we did that with you uh, in uganda mm -hmm. with the, the the projects that cta was implementing and i i supported that to bring the people together so cta felt uh with that experience and also experience of other colleagues here we could continue with the experience capitalization so what happened was that we they told us to write a small note express our interest and they gave us this as a contract and now that we are together with the cta to take this they have given us the the technical people to do both um Yog will talk about other UK, I think, partners who will be involved. Uh, I saw that email from CTA. Mm -hmm. So the reason that we are here today is to basically agree on a roadmap on how to implement this uh, activity. Mm -hmm. So ladies and gentlemen, that is how I wanted to introduce this. So before we move on, let me allow everyone to introduce himself or herself briefly who you are and what you do. I start from Andre. Okay. Yes. Um, yeah. I, I think we we already know each other. Uh, me and York, okay. we, yes. with, <laughs> with the with the drone stories. Yeah. Yes. Now we are at Afas now. Um, yes. Yeah. So I I'm the ICT and KM uh, specialist at Afas. Actually, so I've started working here since this year. Okay. And uh, yeah, we are focusing a lot on on capitalization and on sharing uh, knowledge. So we we are just beginning uh, this journey. It will be a long one, and we hope that we will have will benefit a lot from uh, from uh, CTA legacy. Thanks, and nice to meet you again. Nice, uh, York. Yes. Nice, nice to meet you. Mm. Well, should I present myself also for those who don't know me? Um, as uh, Max said, I, my name is uh, Jorge Chavez Tafur. I'm originally from Peru, but I live in the Netherlands already for a very long time. During the last years, I was working with CTA. Um, and basically, my responsibility is centered around uh, the, the experience capitalization a project that we had, we were implementing together with FAO and with uh, uh, IFAD. Um, well, Andre already mentioned that I met him uh, in one of these uh, workshops that we run. We run different uh, workshops and different processes and supported uh, different teams, uh, actually quite a lot of teams in different parts of the world, also in areas where CTA was not working, like in Nepal and uh, Far East and Latin America. Um, the, the idea was not just to, to start a lot of, of, of capitalization processes, but uh, basically to, to, the, to help organizations uh, develop the skills so that these organizations would just go on, on their own afterwards with the resources and with the materials that could help them implement uh, the process. Um, unfortunately, you already know, of course, CTA uh, had to close and... Um, Ibrahim, the director, was very interested in, in, in making sure that uh, whatever CTA had been doing would go, would pass on to other organizations which could continue. So this is the reason why I'm uh, joining you now, uh, trying to make sure that uh, this uh, legacy um, effort, uh, well, the, to, to see in as much as possible what we can do so that AFAS can continue working around this subject. Um, I'm not working with CTA anymore. I, I am still in the Netherlands, yes. Um, in a few weeks, I'm going to join Oxfam. I am going to start working with them. But I have agreed with CTA that I'm going to be doing this and I'm going to be able uh, uh, available to contact, uh, to work with you, to meet as much as necessary. So. That's the whole purpose, I think, of the meeting today, that we can plan a process, not just for the meetings that we can have well, during the few weeks that are left at the end of the year, before the end of the year, but also afterwards. So welcome.
Thank you. And it's good. I, I was starting to panic when we were thinking of this year. So going no, no after problem. also next year, that would be very good to, to very good assurance. Uh, let's move to Edwin. Yes. Good morning. My, my apologies for the poor internet connection. My name is Edwin Adenia. I work for the Field School Hub, uh, knowledge management specialist. And I highly welcome this initiative. Uh, we started it uh, some few years ago with a guy called Arnold Brown. Oh, yeah. We even got some sponsorship from a CTA to do to, to, to represent the the field schools network in East Africa at Rome. We had a very big meeting on uh, communications for development. So CTA comes a long way and we highly welcome you on board and thanks for the reassurance for next year. Thanks. Thank you. And, and you're in Kenya? Yes, or, I'm in Kenya. In, in Nairobi. Ah. Yes, in Bono. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and, and the man is enjoying fish uh, so, uh, Brenda and Mo Brenda. Brenda, go ahead. Okay, Maurice. We don't need Brenda. Maurice. Okay, I think the, 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 the Morris is in Cotido in the in Karamoja region. Um, I he may he, he may be listening, but maybe very difficult to get the, the internet sometimes. Brenda will introduce herself later. So what we now want to Hello? do is, okay, Hello? Morris, go ahead. Yeah, good morning, everyone. I'm happy to be part of this great team. Morris Egesa is my name. I am a program support volunteer, specifically supporting uh, partnership planning, uh, monitoring and evaluation, as well as uh, knowledge management units. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, um, we would like to basically give this chance to help to take us through. Then we we all give a, a kind of our feedback and the way forward so you yeah to to take you through um well the the, the document you've already seen the document i i presented um so when when i started uh well you, you know we've been talking about uh, cta uh, stopping work for already a long time but um, the, this idea of, of working with you is relatively recent. Of course, it came when um, I was not working with CTA anymore. And Ibrahim asked me if I could help or if I would be interested. And I said, yes, certainly. Um, but we had to find a way to, to see how can we organize this. And the, um, it comes at the time when the, when the year is finishing. And, and you know all these uh, problems, uh, contracts that have to be finished or signed or completed or everything. So what I um, offered uh, Ibrahim is that I could uh, well submit a short proposal and then discuss with you and then find a way that we could implement this, um, even if it goes, of course, to next year. Why, why I mentioned this is because I, I really think that... Um, um, how do I say, um, becoming acquainted with the approach and, and becoming familiar and, and, and trying it out is not something that you are going to do in one session. No, it's not something that immediately tuck, you have it and that's it. I, I don't really think it works so easily. So it, it is not a, a, a tangible thing that you just have it and it's there and you can put it into practice. I, I thought that it might be better for you to, to well, first, 
listen to some ideas, discuss, and, and we could organize this in a, in a few sessions. And then for you to try to test it and to try to go ahead. And I would be very happy to, to be there and to help you with this. And of course, this takes a bit of time. So we were discussing with Ibrahim, mean, how, how can we do this? Can we really squeeze everything before the end of the year? Or can we just take it easy and then see and then plan? And, and there's, of course, the, the personal commitment to continue. So, so I think that something like this could work out. But of course, this is the, the, the way uh, the, what I wanted to discuss with you. How do you see it? How do you um, expect to go about it? And what are your uh, time limitations or time problems? So that is the first point. The second is that um, um, we're related to this. When we talk about uh, legacy in this case, it is a legacy of something which is, most of it, it's immaterial. <laughs> No, it, it is not a package. It is not a, a, a bag of books that CTA can give to you and that, uh, and that you're ready to use. There are a few things which are material, like, for example, there are PowerPoint presentations which we did with the project and which I would very gladly send to you and that you can start using or you can modify them or you can, uh, I don't know, no, I don't know, adapt them. Um, but that is very limited. The, 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 there are also um, online materials, but they are online. So it is, it is not that I'm, I'm, I'm giving them to you because they are already there and you can just take them and you can download them. They are for free. So that's another thing which is not really, well, that doesn't really take a lot of, 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 of time or, or effort. Um, there's also uh, D groups. You, you know, probably, and that's something we need to discuss a little bit, a group, a D groups is a platform which uses uh, to, which is used to communicate uh, people to communicate with each other, sending emails and receiving emails. And uh, we created different groups uh, with different uh, um, members. No, so there's one in English and there's one in French and there's one in Spanish for Latin America. And I think there's one for the Far East or one for Asia. So, so these are there. And uh, I think CTA has already paid for them in advance. So they are there to be used. That's another thing that I could very easily give you the, the control and the command. And then you are use, you would be using them. No, and then we could discuss how to use uh, D groups and, and, uh, and, and you could have that as a tool, which I think it is a very handy tool, to be honest. I know a lot of organizations which are using it. I was just in a training with IFAT because they are starting to use it. And so if, if you have it, that's uh, fantastic. But apart from that, what I said, there, there's not really tangible things. So the most important thing would be, um, I thought, to go through what experience capitalization is, to go through the process in the way we were following it, and to let you become more familiar with uh, the different steps and the different ideas so that you can eventually, uh, well, facilitate processes yourself and, 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 and well, make sure that AFAS becomes uh, well, the organization that pushes this approach and that who trains others and who makes sure that other uh, your members or other organizations are able to complete it. But that is, as I said, something that we have to, well, organize it, I don't know, in different uh, training sessions, different uh, discussion meetings. So my original proposal was to meet, I don't know, four, I don't know how many times I had uh, written, four or five times uh, following the, the steps of the process. Now, so I could um, show you one of these PowerPoint presentations that are, or, or two, or I don't know, there, there, are, there are quite a few, there are 10 or so, but so we could go in every one, in every session, we could go through one of these PowerPoint presentations and then I could send it to you and, and then we could discuss how is it that, uh, that uh, I was uh, seeing it or we were seeing it. And, and then 
um, well, respond to your questions. No, so basically, I, I, I was thinking of, of this process more or less in, in that way. And of course, at the same time, sharing the, the other, well, what I said, the other resources which are there online, like, like the books which are on the CG space or the website which is still there, even though it is frozen, the material it is still there, uh, and other resources which are available. Um, if you agree with this, with this format, no, in which we would meet, as I said, four times or five times, and then we go for, it doesn't have to be very long, but we could go for an hour or so, discuss these different issues. Um, and then I send you the PowerPoints. And then after a while, if you start testing it, I would be very happy to see, well, what are you doing to discuss with you, to see what progress you're making with your own groups of people and your own members. If you agree to this, then the only thing we would uh, be needing is to, well, to agree on the dates. No, so I saw on the response I got from you, Max, that uh, you had uh, suggested some dates for for the coming sessions. Yeah, that's possible. We we could uh, do that uh, right now and see what dates uh, do we agree with each other. But before we focus on the dates. I would I would say let us make sure that we agree that that something like this could be the the path to follow. Yes, what what, what do you think? I I think also in my in my previous uh, discussions with uh, of course uh, Ibrahim and it was more about buy in into the approach mm -hmm. then we see because we have some people already who have the experience on this who, who are trained but we in your concept note we are looking for new people so that we can we can count on that but let me open this to colleagues uh mm -hmm. who are in the meeting mm -hmm. first to give their impression and the and thoughts please colleagues Yeah, maybe I'll start. Um, so, my my understanding is uh, that uh, uh, so Yorg is available to support the the Afas network and to to transfer the the, the I would say the 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 the, the the knowledge legacy of uh, how to capitalize mm -hmm. on experience and sharing experience and so on. And what I understand is you have four to five uh, sessions available for that. So how can we, um, how can we take maximum advantage of this, uh, this time that you you are available. I don't know if you are available for more time, but uh, <laughs> what, what I heard is the maybe four to five sessions. Yeah. Uh, in, in fact, we at Afas, they are as uh, explained by Max. We have different uh, program projects or programs or initiatives and and units and so on. So I will talk to, uh, about my unit uh, which is the ICT and knowledge management so in this uh, uh, unit we we work with what we call the CIKM the communication information and knowledge management people who are uh, based in the the country fora that, mm -hmm. that AFAS uh, uh, support so this CIKM they they have to deliver some kinds of products periodically and among these products there are articles stories case studies case study is very close to the experience capitalization mm -hmm. yeah so this year we've start we've just started that eh, to 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 kind of uh, monitor how they progress in that uh, area and we've seen that um, the experience capitalization is, is not that, uh, I would say, that uh, brilliant. Uh, 
uh, even even many of course many of the, the, the activities they are doing uh, we we don't hear much about how they do it what are the outputs and how they are progressing and so on and so uh, it's uh, it's really a culture that we have to to create uh, the knowledge management culture the, the experience capitalization culture it's something that we really need to to start maybe almost from scratch uh, uh, given the the uh, I'm telling that based on what I see. Huh? There might be some other reasons why why uh, why we, we don't have much result. But um, my 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 point is that we we need to in any case we need to capacitate the people so that um, when they are available when they are ready and they can they can deliver as uh, as we want so there's a lot to to capitalize and they are supposed to implement some programs they are supposed to do a lot of activities in the field or virtually but we don't have enough uh, feedback not enough information about that so it may be by structuring their their approach, helping them to have a good methodology, as you used to do, uh, will help to um, will trigger at least some some new habits and and start um, start uh, improve a little bit more on the the experience capitalization and the storytelling and so on at at AFAS. Periodically, we normally every month they have to provide some some stories that we will put on on the newsletter an afas newsletter this is what we tried to 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 agree i can't say we we, we everyone everybody agrees on that but uh, this is what we we, we discussed about uh, every month they should have something to write um and of course end of the year it's very important we should have a kind of collection of best practice or good stories uh, any success stories that uh, has happened during the year uh, this is also uh, a kind of uh, um, documentation that we should have just for internal use uh, to encourage each one that uh, it has progressed, but especially also for uh, for visibility towards our um, our founders uh, to to to, ex to to show them that things are happening and things are uh, okay. things serious things are happening. So this this uh, initiative that uh, uh, comes from uh, CTA Legacy, I think, is very timely it comes at the end of the year <laughs> and before you you fire you you totally disappear yeah uh, yeah and um knowing the, the the training i think it's it's very relevant for the 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 AFAS network and my my only uh, concern is that the time is quite short i don't yeah. know so you yeah. asked how available we are but uh, I would ask the same to you. How yeah. available yeah. will you be? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because it depends also on that. Yeah. And, and how to incentivize people to participate and, as you say, to practice, because it's practice. It's yeah. practice, practice. Huh? Yeah. And uh, to, to get some, some concrete and interesting results. Uh, I remember the first story I, I wrote to you for. for uh africa goes digital I, I took one month to write it <laughs> so yeah things like that it's it's not uh yeah. i know yeah it's yeah. not easy yeah so yeah the, just to summarize my point um uh, from from the cikm ictkm uh unit we are fully uh, mm. engaged in what uh, you, you 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 are proposing and I believe uh, most of the 
the people there, even those that are in the AFAS uh, network at large, not just the, 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 the CADEP XP4 should uh, participate in this uh, training. How to incentivize them? It's that they will learn something that maybe we should also think of, I don't know, some kind of, and that will be internally at AFAS, some kind of prize that we, 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 we give or a certificate and, and so on for those who accomplish, who, who manage, for instance, to, 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 to write, uh, I don't know, maybe six stories and during the year or something like that. And then we can award something so that uh, uh, they, they, they are recognized and that they have uh, done something and they are at another level now and so on. I think this kind of incentive should be uh, thought from the beginning. So I stop there for now. Thank you. Uh, yeah, no, um, if, if I may answer very quickly, I, I agree with you. The, this is a question of um, practicing, practicing and doing. Um, one a phrase that, uh, well, you've probably heard me before and which I'm going to repeat very often is this idea of learning by doing. I think that uh, we can talk about the theory of experience capitalization and knowledge management, and, and we can talk about that forever. And still it would not get very clear if we don't practice and try it out. So I really believe that uh, if if you guys want to get your partners and your people uh, into it, you really have to get them to practice and to try it out. And also the question is how to do this. This is not really something that you do in one day. Probably not. It will take some time. And then you have to encourage people and you have to motivate them so that they really go and, and get into it. No? So, so I agree with you, uh, planning a process which may take some time uh, as part of a, of a long-term thing, as, as part of a regular activity. Like I, I like what you're saying, if, if, if there's some sort of, of need to produce a short document every month, then every month Somebody who has written something has the possibility of publishing it or putting it online or sharing it with others. And I think that's that's very good. And then to have the motivation so that if there is some little price or even if the price is just having the, the text published on the AFAS website, I think that's that's very good. No, but the question is at the moment, okay, how can we plan such a thing and how can I support you? You are all very busy, and of course, I will be even more busy when I start uh, working with with another organization. But I think that yeah, if we plan for a meeting, I don't know. Um, I, I really don't know, but we could do a couple of meetings now this year still, and then meet uh, every two weeks, or it doesn't have to be very long. It can be an hour meeting, something like that yeah for as long as 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 it is necessary i have signed a contract for this assignment for a few days so of course it is limited time but yeah well i think that if we if we agree to meet as i say every week every two weeks every month or for an hour i think that uh, we can uh, we can do that yeah yeah thank you York. and andre i think uh... In principle, uh, we are in agreement. Uh, what now we need to agree basically is uh, about, for example, now we are in the end, actually end of November and we are starting December. So also December, we have uh, uh, actually three weeks of uh, of people's active uh, blood circulation for work. Then the last week is more about people. Uh, going slow to get to the villages or whatever they want to do. So my my proposal first of all is that one, we have a lot of coherence. As Andre explained, AFAS for us, we are very keen in experience capitalization. In fact, AFAS as a learning organization, this is a, one of the most important things we should do. Not only for for us as, as maybe the secretary and the country forum, but also to help our partners who are dealing with extension and advisory services. The ministries, the ministries need this kind of thing. So I, I, I would, I would also propose that 
based on the, the time that yog has, the most important thing is to focus on the process, how things are done. So that we have this, then we can be able to do it ourselves, mm -hmm. even when you have limited time, and if, maybe next year, then we carry it forward. Mm -hmm. So from our side, we should be able to identify very uh, good champions who are very willing to learn, but also willing to take this forward. That is one, one part from our side. Then uh, we need to agree, uh, perhaps in my, my head now I'm looking at uh, three sessions this year. We can have them with you because there are so many other things people are now struggling to do. But it depends on the, the group here. If we can go beyond three, that would be good. Uh, then we see that we roll out next year, we can have some time. And I'm also sure you've been a very, very serious champion in issues of capitalization. So meaning beyond just legacy of CTA, but it's also a legacy of those who were promoting the approach. <laughs> yeah. So it is about also our own legacy in yeah. terms of taking this forward. So sometimes there's going to be some sacrifice. 30 minutes or one hour will not be a bad thing for you. You are already a partner of AFAS in a way. Yeah, we worked together. That so not having, having said so, could we basically agree on when do we start? Uh, because uh, I think the plan is very clear. Andre, I want so, to add something. Okay. Allow me. Uh, we we tried. Uh, I've been working with Anne Sophie from Rome, mm. and we tried uh, trying to rolling rolling out uh, capitalization of experiences through field schools. However, we didn't have funding for it. So what happened was they've developed an e-learning course under the FAO yes. e-learning academy, yes. jointly with CTA. And I was thinking the CIKMs that Andre has been mentioning could benefit from doing such a course yes. and then being exposed to the field. And when they get that certificate, we can now use them because it has been a challenge for us to really document the impact of field schools yes. to the communities and even to the donors. So this capitalization of experiences will go a long way in coming up with those success stories yes. and uh, good practices that we we'll really want to adopt. Over to you. I, I, what you mentioned is, is something I wanted to emphasize also. There are different uh, online resources, which, well, I've, I've put some on the document I shared with you, but there are many others. There is one big course uh, produced by FAO, where I was involved also, and which is online and you just have to register and, and follow it. So that's very easy. Um, probably that's the one you are mentioning. There's another one which was completed this year, which, which is basically the same one, but then structured differently, which was prepared with uh, GFRAS. And I think you are you as AFAS are members of GFRAS or are related to it, aren't you? So GFRAS is also very interested, uh, at least the headquarters in, in Switzerland, they're very interested in experience capitalization and they were working with FAO for having this program. It is there in English. The idea is that this is going to become what they call a MOOC. A MOOC is an online course. So the content is already there. This is going to be there. So if... Um, yeah, if the material is there and if I have access to it and if I can know it, I would be very happy that uh, that you take it forward. Of course, uh, what, what you were saying, Max, that's also legacy. It is not just legacy of CTA, but also legacy of the work that we've been doing. So I'd be very happy to to try to, um, well, to use that and, and to help you in, in, in using it. The more, the better. So the courses are there, the materials are there um the the powerpoints for you to use when you are going to be having your own presentations they are also there so i i, I think that uh there's there's a lot of materials the question now is what andrew was saying you have to go and try it and test it and 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 go for it and inv involve your own people and and get them to test it also because 
what I said uh, before already, if you don't test it, it, it's very difficult to try to grasp it. So yeah, I had proposed different sessions. Um, perhaps we can try what Max, what you were saying, three sessions this year and then more next year. I had organized these sessions thinking of the different steps. No, so for example, the, the first one trying to, to just to, to, to have an introduction, what is experience capitalization? Why is it necessary? Blah, blah, blah. While a second one would be more on the planning of the process. No, what, what do you need to do? How do you organize the process? What resources are necessary? How do you select participants, etc. cetera? No, so each one of these sessions could look at, at each one of these steps and perhaps it becomes a bit heavy and very theoretical, but I was thinking maybe it is necessary for those of you who are less familiar with the subject. Maybe somebody who's already been trying this out, like Andre, for example, uh, attended the workshop and he's been listening to this, maybe it becomes a bit boring, but maybe it doesn't harm to, to have a little bit of theory while at the same time, we could, um, like we were doing with this course with GIFRAS, every time we have one of these sessions, we could sort of uh, give some sort of, uh, homework or some assignment that people could try to start doing so that those who attend the session are not just listening to the theory, but also immediately start trying it out and, and start uh, uh, their own capitalization process. So that could be a possibility. The only thing then, if you agree with this uh, distribution of the subjects, the way I had put it on the document, then the, the only well, two things would be necessary. One is that we agree on the dates and the second that you find uh, who would be the participants. Is there um... Uh, a, a limitation on the number of participants Me, since it's online. Yeah, exactly. Having it online is one of the advantages. You you have seen me facilitating a workshop in person and you know I like to move and to talk and blah, blah, blah. And I'm a bit of, a, I don't know, a bit mm. active. Therefore, uh, doing it online is a bit different. But... It is possible, and the advantage of doing it online is that we don't have a limitation for because yeah, we, we can have, I don't know, 40 persons or 50, it doesn't really matter, as long, of course, as they are eager to to participate as much as possible. Yeah. Uh, now the question is, will you <laughs> will you be able to review all the yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We can that, do peer review, but also, uh, yeah, maybe we can put a small committee at AFAS uh, to, to do some review from time to time because. Yeah, but, but that, that is a good point uh, you're raising because the, the idea would be not for me to, to run the whole show and take care of everything, but for me to help you guys take care of it. No, so. I could be there throughout 10 sessions if it is necessary, but making sure that I'm helping you so that you are going to be able to, to run the new sessions, to support others. No, so, so in that sense, it becomes more of a training of trainers, if you see what I mean. Mm -hmm. no, um, I would be very happy to see um, what the, the the these assignments or homework or cases that are being written by by different participants but i think it would be even better if if i'm doing this together with you so that you are then going to be able to do it on or or you are going to be uh, taking it further but i think that a construction like that can work very well it doesn't have to be too complicated and of course the at the beginning it will be maybe uh, you five but then afterwards, there will be more people who may take this role of facilitators and of promoters of the approach, and not just as participants, isn't it? I think, uh, like Andre said, can, can we take more? Uh, our idea is to take more because, uh, you know, AFAS is the regional. 
We mm -hmm. have the East African region, we have South Africa, uh, Southern Africa, Western, Central, a bit of North. So we'd like as much as possible to bring uh, these uh, guys on board. Don't worry about the, mark, the, the review of exercises. We can also have it practically done when we come back. People just reporting what they, we can do it again in a participatory way. If we try, then we come back. Then people just share experience within a few minutes before we go to the next the next session. So how did you do it? What case? And if somebody presents, others can give like you normal. We normally facilitate workshops. Is there anything different from this? What experience did you learn? What are, what were the challenges? Why? Then we move on. So, um, Andre, I I saw that you had even suggested the dates, and one of them is first December. I was I was thinking. Myself and Edwin, normally Wednesdays uh, are days that we dedicate to the field school. Maybe we could also say we have the field school, but then we move to say in the afternoon we can have a first session. Then we, we choose. I will leave that to you, Andre, to, to select key facilitators, but from the secretariat, we definitely need Jerry also to be involved because this capitalization is very close to M&A, monitoring, evaluation, and learning. And, and you know, we knowledge management, uh, monitoring, and learning, uh, those, are, those are close things that we all talk about, putting data together and making sense out of it. So if we could have two people from East Africa, two from Southern Africa, two from West or Central, then maybe one from the north for, for the beginning. I leave that to Andre to figure out. Then we send invitation. Then on the second of December, which is Wednesday, we have the first session. Mm -hmm. What do we, what do we think? To me, that is perfect. Well, second of December. Yes. Second of December, Max, we have that. Uh, race car webinar. Eh? Don't ah. forget. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Well, I don't know. We we have two possibilities. Uh, ju just to inform uh, York, mm. uh, for the CIKM we have it's a tradition. Eh? On on uh, Tuesday afternoon we have trainings. Yeah. Uh, so it has been like that since uh, this year. Then on Wednesday, we have also in the morning uh, the 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 pharmacy school hub. They meet on on uh, Wednesday. For me, I will prefer to keep some traditions, uh, just to to crystallize some habits. If you if we start changing uh, yeah. the, the okay. habits, so, people so might be lost. The Tuesday, what time? Because uh, personally, I have the GFRAS annual general assembly, but that is only me and maybe ED. The rest of you will not be there. I will catch up with you. I will try to. I can actually, you know, these days sometimes I attend two meetings that they go, trying my best to see, but it's a bad thing. You get the head almost blows off. So <laughs> I, I could, I could, I, uh, I could do. The general assembly is not very hectic. I could join, then come to the meeting briefly. So let's keep Tuesday for now. We need to start. But you say Tuesday morning. Afternoon. Afternoon, Afternoon because of West Africa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, uh, on Tuesday the 1st, I have a meeting at 3 p.m. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so I could, yeah, 3 p.m. for you is 5 p.m. already, yeah? Yes. So we could do it earlier. We could do it at um, 1 p.m. my time, mm -hmm. which is 3 for you. Yeah, this is the exact time when we start training here. So that's all right. We could do that. So, but but before we, we go there, so you want to do the introduction and the the planning this year, eh? this is what I understand. And then analysis and documentation yeah. and uh, dissemination Could next, be year. next year. Yeah, for example. 
I could do the, yeah, we could try to do the introduction on, on the 1st of December and then the planning, yeah, the week after. The 8th. That could be. Mm -hmm. um, we could even do the third one on the, yeah, no, the 15th is going to be complicated. We, we we could do this too, the this the one the first of December and then the eighth of December. Mm -hmm. And then we could uh, restart again on, on January. That's not a, for me it's not a problem. Yeah, no, I think for from our side from my side also that that's good. Um I mean mid December people are already uh, all yeah. uh, all going for holidays and as as Max said, they are slow, so maybe. We, but the, the the only thing is, we would have loved to to also have these people ready to write some stories for the, for instance, for the annual report or any kind. Andres, of, uh, Andres, I saw I saw again that eighth eighth is a very a very hectic day for us because we're almost having some three things is it, although it is a culture maybe can we can we for example adjust it to monday in the afternoon because our meetings the the staff meetings are in the morning then we could take it for just to adjust it to seven mm -hmm. because there are like three things already happening on the eighth what what is happening on the eighth again I don't have this. We're, uh, we're, we're expecting the the board mem the board the, the board meeting. We have not yet confirmed, but we are discussing this. Then we are also actually Edwin. We are having something on field schools on that Tuesday. Then um, there is also a climate s smart agriculture <laughs> also in that. So I was thinking we could bring it just one day Monday in the afternoon still. Five o'clock. If we could maintain five o'clock, basically, for to to take care of the West African people. Seven. Um, the York's proposition is three o'clock, and eh? not five. Okay, three for us. Yes. For us, in what time? Yeah, but on the on the seventh. Oh no. I have a meeting. Yeah, on the, yeah. Also on the, on the at one p.m. is better for me. Oh, your time one p.m. Yeah. Our time is three o'clock. Yeah. Is that hundred? Even the first one would that we agreed? Yeah, yeah. So we one... if we could just keep four, three to three to four or to five something. Of course, one hour. Mm -hmm. If yeah. Yeah, we can do in one hour. Yeah, five, three to five, four, East Africa. Okay. Yeah. So the first and the seventh. Yes. I, I sincerely, I would have preferred even the ninth instead of the seventh. Monday <laughs> is always more busy. Mm. Okay. Well, what about you, your yeah. nine is is free. So in oh, so let's go for nine. Let's go for nine since this is now our planning is a good plan. <laughs> so that in case we go beyond the time, and normally yeah, this is okay. So the first session will be on the first, and then the second one on the ninth, same yeah. hour, three p.m. Yes, it's good. The first session will be an introduction, and the second one will be planning. Yeah. Okay, and we do at 1 p.m. for me, huh? Yes, both days. Yes, we agree that? Yeah. That's possible. We do the, fir the first of December, we will do the introduction. 
at 1 p.m. Uh, Holland time. The 9th of December, we do the planning also at 1 p.m. Holland time. Yes. And then we can see if we still have another time before the end of the year or if we restart in January. Yes, do you agree? Uh, no, no, no. I think we can still have one to make three. We could make one. Yeah, it is just that uh, I I will be starting with Oxfam working on the 15th. So then my, my agenda is going to be a bit more complicated. We could... I don't know, tentatively say for the uh, 16, for example. Yes. But then let us, we could also say 16 the same at the same hour. Yes. But that will have to be to be confirmed, okay? Yes. All right. Yeah, All right. that's possible. And then we do the third one before the end of the year. That's possible. Yeah. Yeah, then we then we plan for the next year after that one. We, exactly. We review and we plan. Yeah. Exactly. Very yeah. good. No, that's so good. very good. But this means that um, you you need to find the participants. I I will make sure that we have the content and the, the PowerPoint, which I'm going to be sharing with you afterwards, and the resources. You find the participants. Yes. And uh, we can use uh, Zoom like this one. Yes. yes. That's possible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, fantastic. So Andre will, will put the participants together. We we uh, review. Uh, Edwin, Edwin, I think from the Field School Hub, we can bring uh, Dr. Esther, who is on e-learning, uh, Dr. Agole, who is on capacity, but also backstopping e-learning. So then maybe Baha, one of the master trainers can join. Then Andre will choose the CI camps and maybe two or, one or, two or three focal point persons who are very active if they wish to participate. And any other partner, then we move forward. Uh, and the I purpose don't is... know. Do we, do we restrict the number or do we open it well I, i'm asking that because as we said since it's online okay. well, what ah. will be the criteria I, 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 for, I, for the trainer to I, if the trainer have i think to, for me select. i think for me i would do since this is online uh we benefit then later on internally we can go back to those in fact, internally, Andre, we can do in, in future a small quiz to see who has grabbed the thing very well to be the ones that roll out. The other ones can re we refresh them. So bringing more would be an advantage. It doesn't mean a lot because it's the same Absolutely. group. Of people. Yeah. And the, the the best way to evaluate the participants is uh, to ask them, okay, where is your story? Where is the, yeah. the documentation that you've produced? I think uh, with that we can okay. we, we can accept. Okay. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good to go. Thank you. This is good. I think. Anything else? I think we are good to go. Uh, yeah. You will prepare material. Andre will put the list. We work together with Andre and myself, Edwin, and Andre to put the list. And then we, we we shall set the Zoom. The Zoom is from also our side. We have three yeah. accounts, so oh, be perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, so, that's perfect. Then uh, yeah. so I don't need to worry about that because no. you, you no. and then yeah, everybody knows how to use Zoom nowadays. So that yeah, easy. yeah, fantastic. So for the first one, I think we need to send the. Uh, today's um, Andre will handle that to send the Zoom and, and, and to yeah. the team, okay, yeah. and include you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. No, that's very nice. Uh, your, your yes. Provision for translation from your side Ooh. because we are also dealing with French-speaking people. Ooh. I have. I think I have the PowerPoints in French also, but yeah. Uh, 
-hmm. it is more difficult to do it in even if we do in two languages yeah so maybe what we can do is to share the the french powerpoint to the french speaking while you so while you present and and explain they can also follow on their computers yeah. what do you think let me check if i have them do, 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 do. oh i don't even know where i have things in french i let, let me look for that yes i cannot promise i know there were some things that were done in west africa in french mm -hmm. I can also send them to you f to to review. Um... Um, but yeah, the the problem is not only the PowerPoint, but also if we do the discussion in English, uh, un unless we do automatic in interpretation, which is possible with Zoom. But uh, yeah, but I I can I I don't know. I'm not that good in speaking in French. Mm. Okay, we, we are in the process of recruiting a translator, but I, I don't know uh, if it will be uh, feasible on the first, because yeah. even the, the call ends on the fourth. <laughs> oh. Anyway, what we do, Andre, I think he, again, in, even if we've not, if by then would have identified a person would be good. If not, then he, I will still prefer that we get a, a person who can be on a basically a support service to, to translate. But the other option is when we when we calling. I know most French French speaking are better than English speaking. That's the advantage. They really speak they speak English. If you it was the reverse, it would be in a total loss. A total loss. That's true. <laughs> but but, but uh, if we fail completely, um, uh, uh, Yog will share the French uh, PowerPoint that you have early enough. Then when you are speaking in the in English, people will have read and follow. They, they can be able to follow somehow. But let's discuss internally, Andre, how we can manage if we, if, if we can get some options. Yeah. Okay. okay. So... Having said so, I now run to join the next meeting. I think we've yes. had a good meeting, uh, yes. colleagues. We are very grateful to Yog for again coming to work with our first team. And we look forward to taking individual legacy as well forward. Good. As, we go, as you go to Oxfam, you are now our advocate in terms of a partnership that we can have to get, together with Oxfam in terms of agricultural development in Africa. So keep I us in you. mind as you go. We wish you well in the new endeavor and work. And we, if you there is anything we can work together when you are there, please, of course. We, we shall be happy. Of course. Very good. Good. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, yes, we meet uh, in a week next Tuesday. Yeah. Good. We can, we can ourselves, myself, you and Andrea and Edwin, we could say uh, Tuesday uh, before the meeting is on Tuesday. So, what we can do is uh, Monday evening, we could just have 20 minutes to, 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 to link up and check where we are. Just the, we, shall, we shall confirm that. Yeah. Let me know. That's possible. Yeah. Just okay. 20 minutes or 15. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Anything else, team members? Thank you, Jorg. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you Thank all. You. See Bye. you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.